Hi guys, welcome back. So I'm starting off priming my face. I'm using the Black Opal True Color Perfecting Primer. Um, this primer has a little bit of a tint to it, which is nice if your foundation is a little bit too light because, you know, it's summer, we're getting tans. Um, for my foundation, I'm using the Maybelline uh, Full Coverage Foundation in Coconut and Honey, mixing these two colors together to get my perfect shade. I've noticed because it is the summer and I'm getting a little bit of a tan, I'm starting to use the coconut shade a little bit more than um, honey. Blending those two colors together using a Real Techniques brush. My base um, routine has been the same for a very, very long time. Nothing has changed. I may do a different foundation or something like that, but everything is still the same. And then for the concealer, I'm using the Maybelline, which one is this? The Instant Age Rewind in Caramel in all the places that I normally highlight. Under the eye, middle of the forehead, nose, small lines, chin. And then I'm going to cream contour using the Black Opal True Color Stick in Carob. And like I've said in my previous videos, I like to, as of lately, um, to um, blend out my concealer using my foundation brush. I feel like the mesh of the um, foundation with the concealer looks really nice. It gets rid of any harsh lines and you get a really, really nice, flawless finish. And then I'm going to blend out my cream contour using a MAC Duo Fiber. This brush is everything for this. And then I'm going to use that same foundation brush to clean up under the contour to make sure I have a sharp line and to clean up around the face. And then to set underneath my eyes and everywhere else that I highlighted, I'm using the Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder. I didn't really realize how brightening this powder is until I was like editing this video. This powder is the bomb. You don't need too much of it. Um, you have to be careful because you will get flashback. But it's become one of my favorite powders lately. And then I'm putting a little bit extra around my mouth because that's where I get oiliest the quickest. And then I'm setting my entire face using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in Medium Deep. Okay, so moving on to the eyebrows. It's so weird to be doing them on camera again. Let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see this or you could do without the eyebrows. Please let me know because I will definitely do them off camera if you prefer that. Um, but I'm just using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Dark Brown. I'm doing hair like strokes, making sure not to go in with too much product. I don't like for my eyebrows to be too harsh, just like there to be a softness to them. So um, when holding the brush, I try and keep it a really, really light hand. And then I'm cleaning up underneath those brows using that same Instant Age Rewind Concealer. Since I am doing um, a more intense look today, I definitely want to make sure that under brow is popped. So for my eyeshadow base today, I'm actually going in with a white base. I'm using the NYX Cosmetics base in White Pearl. I'm doing this because I am going in with really, really bright colors. The white base will really make it pop. Um, so if you're going to be doing a colorful look like this, I definitely recommend you do a white base instead of like your normal nude or concealer that you may use. And then I'm blending that out with a brush. And then I'm going to set that with uh, my Derma Blend powder. So for my eyeshadow palette today, I'm using the Morphe 12P. I'm taking that orange shade in the palette, really pressing it into the inner brow bone. And then I'm taking um, that fuchsia color and connecting it to the orange. Guys, this eyeshadow look is so, so freaking easy. You're literally just layering eyeshadows on top of each other. And then I'm taking this um, like aqua blue and putting it on my outer eye, really dragging it out, kind of like um, a cat eye, connecting it to that pink. 
and then I'm making sure to keep a clean brush on me so I can really clean up any harsh lines and make sure there's a seamless blend between all the colors. And then I'm taking this more like navy blue for a little more depth, putting that on top of the aqua, and then I'm taking the yellow shade um, just to give a little extra pop to make sure I push in all the colors of the flag. And here I'm just um, further layer layering on the color so it's as opaque as possible. And then I'm taking that same NYX base that I use all over my lid and I'm carving out my crease. Um, since we are doing a glitter look today, we really want that lid space to be big and bold. Um, and my lid space is very small, so we have to create an illusion of bigger space. And I'm taking my NYX and glitter since we are primer using a prep glitter for today. The glitter. We're using our NYX glitter primer. And then for the glitter, I'm the using lid. the NYX Cosmetics and for the glitter, Space and Glitter. We are using body glitter the in NYX crystal. Cosmetics glitter Space and Body Glitter in times. Crystal. <laughs> so sorry. Um, I'm just placing um, that all over. It was just glitter is so before. amazing. <laughs> so I'm just doing the same thing. And then I'm doing the same thing. Orange shade, fuchsia shade, blue eye. shade, clean brush, just blend blending up the all those lines. colors together. Really and then taking my Mac can't even trust it enough. Just the blend. Um, and I was really, really just freestyling. I had no idea what colors. I was do. I just knew I wanted just to make all these eyeshadows fit on my eyelid. Yellow shade in the palette. But I wanted it to be rainbow. Give a little extra dimension. And then I realized, like, I feel like it needed an extra pop, so I went in with the, what is this, um, the NYX liner, um, I forgot the shade, it's the yellow shade, it kind of cracks a little bit, it's not the best quality, but it works for this, I'll make sure I list it on my blog, um, I just went in putting that in the upper part of my crease, remember that if you're going to put that in your crease, you need to put it above it so that when you open your eyes you can still see it. And then um, for my tear ducts, I'm using the NYX Cosmetics Liquid Crystal Liner in Crystal Silver. And then for the lower lash line, I'm going in with that purple shade, connecting it to the blue. And then I'm going in with my MAC 224, blending it out. And then I'm taking the um, teal green, putting that on top of the purple. Blending that out again with my MAC 224, and then I'm taking that like lime green shade in the palette and putting it all the way in the inner. Guys, like I said, super easy. Like when you break it down, it's super easy. Then I'm taking a little bit of that pink on the outer corner because I feel like the look was missing a pink. <laughs> and then I'm taking my NARS Rubana Part Eyeliner to really make my eyes look big and open, especially because we'll be doing um, fake bottom lashes. And then I'm taking my Tarte Tartiest Makeup Shayla palette and putting, I think it's number three in the palette to further brighten, brighten up my under eye. And then I'm taking the second to darkest shade and I'm contouring those cheeks. And then I'm cleaning up underneath that contour so it's sharp. For my highlights, I'm using the Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder in Conceited. I've been obsessed with this highlighter lately. And then for blush, I'm using the NARS Dolce Vita. For bronzer, I'm using Bobbi Brown Dark 3. And then for lashes, I am using the Coco Lashes in Goddess. Um, I definitely did not want to do a winked liner with this or anything. I really wanted the lid to take over the entire show. Um, sometimes liner can really cover up the work that you did and this um, definitely took me a while so I was definitely not going to cover it up. <laughs> and then to contour my nose, I'm using the Balm Bahama Lama Bronzer. It's the perfect shade to contour the nose. Cool toned, not red toned at all, not too dark. And then today we are doing a faux bottom lashes. I'm using the House of Lashes in Precious. What I do is put on glue, let it sit for literally two seconds, sit them in the middle of my eye, press it into that lash line, and then I'll place the outer and the inner. And then once it's kind of like in the spot I want it to be, I will lift the lashes up because they will stick to your face and look extremely unnatural, very twiggy-like if you don't push them up. So they'll glue, well they'll dry into the right 
place. So moving on to the lips, I'm using the NYX Cosmetics Lip Liner in Club Hopper. Then for lips, I'm using the ColourPop Liquid Lipstick in Autocorrect, blending that into the lip liner. And then for lip gloss, I'm using the ColourPop Makeup Shayla Ultra Glossy Lip in Neat Freak. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, it's a little inspiration for Pride Month. Um, I know our parade here in Chicago is this weekend on Saturday. Let me know in the comments if you guys will be doing anything. Please be safe and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!